All right, everyone, how's it going? Here we are. It's the 6th of June. Yesterday, we got a butterfly net, did a whole bunch of things, and then at the end of the day, we we went, yeah, we went home, and we went to the store with Nanako, and we got home, and, and uh, what's-his-nuts was yelling at us. God, I can't even think of his name. Do Dojima-san. What, what the hell was his first name? Anyway, he was yelling at us, so we went to bed. We are like, I'm not doing this right now. So, yeah, we just kind of left. Anyway, let's do today. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Where did the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. That's alright, bud. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. Tell First us off. everything. What just happened? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well... He just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. Get over it, Chie. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh... I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. It's okay, Kanji. Have you calmed down? Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our families run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. <laughs> That's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. That's and when weird. I got to my senses, I was running wild. Running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. You're really pretty cool, Kanji. No, I like I you. I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Mm -hmm. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. That's fair. So, like, are you guys 
playing detective or something? <laughs> yeah, something like that, Kanji. Mm, well, something like that. Yeah, close enough. Anything I can do to help? Well, if there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Kanji Tatsumi joined your group. He'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Watch The investigation team very aptly named the fool social link because we know nothing investigation team social link has reached level four your powers for the fool persona well if we're better. gonna welcome aboard a new member should we take him to our special headquarters we're still calling it that what what's that come on let's go it's just the food court Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, close your <laughs> mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? No. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. Mm -hmm, the killer mm -hmm. kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Oh, get him, Kanji. Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. <laughs> so who are you dipshits? <laughs> <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still... How can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? The case. People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? I don't think it holds up. What's Kanji got to do with that? Think we're wrong about this one, too? I don't know. That announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. We haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Yep, he sure did. You took the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? List of TV programs? Miyumi Yamano, 411. Saki Konishi, 413. What are these dates? April 11th. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then, what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? The What's Midnight Saki Channel. Saki Konishi, show? April 13th. Day she, oh, day she was on TV? I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. 
Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yes, because I heard the word kimono 37 times I went that day. Shopping that day. And still so couldn't figure out who was wearing a kimono on TV. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and. The date? Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. So, right before That's we saw them on the Midnight Channel. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So, you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer it's failed with no Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. Could the be. victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? <laughs> Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? <laughs> Great question. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. Yeah. That's more than enough. Thanks, Kanji. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. <laughs> well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji kun was the last target. Doubt it. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways. Let's keep checking the midnight channel like usual when it rains. Deal. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. <laughs> Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? <laughs> Kanji seems almost... thrown off by that that idea to not oh, yeah. get food. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this can't thing. Think Didn't think it was a bear, though. I can't think so hey, well right now. Why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I've been wondering... You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's uh... What was it like for senpai... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Damn, Yukiko. My jaw! I'll be more gentle <laughs> next time. Next more time? Gentle? What a pair of Ooh. dimwits. What's happening Oh, here? yeah. Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but 
Hang on, aren't these different from anyone else's? <laughs> He's got the gag glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you. She goes losing her mind. <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. <laughs> yeah, real funny, you smart ass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that! <laughs> Kanji grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> Is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> <laughs> you keep just losing her mind. <laughs> Evening time, finally. You're back. I am. That is, that is an accurate assessment. Hey! What's wrong, Lord? Since you have blah blah blah, I feel the relationship is going to become closer soon. Ah. Hey! I was just thinking of making some coffee. All we've got is instant, though. How do you take it? Surprise me. <laughs> All right, I'll pour you a good one. Dojima looks like he's having fun. Dad! The news is starting. Oh, coffee, can I have some? Sure thing. Plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah. Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Making the coffee is my only job around here. Dojima's smiling gently. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. She said all I have to do she said this is all I have to do around the house, but nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's habit now. Dojima looks a little embarrassed, so I just make Nanako do everything else. You saw an unexpected side of Dojima and grew, grew closer to him. Rayataro, that's his first name. I couldn't think of that yesterday. The Ryotaro Dojima social anchor. Was that this? No, it was today that I couldn't think of it. Man, that was a long conversation we had. The Ryotaro Dojima social anchor. Blah, 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 blah. This is the only promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyway, sit over there. You watch TV. Today. And now our next story. On the outskirts of Okina today, a woman bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene. Nanako. Turn the TV off. Oh, okay. Um. It was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. <sighs> I don't remember it and Dad won't talk about it. Nanako looks lonely. You watch some more TV with Nanako before going to your room. All right, that's it. That's the 6th of June. That's, you all saw what happened. We just, Kanji's part of the team now. That's that's really the big takeaway from today. So, there it is. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, take care.